What's up today? I've got a haul video for you. This is just stuff that I have purchased within the last few months. I haven't done a video like this in a while. If you're new here, I am Kristen. I love all things makeup. I love Rocky Horror. I love Halloween. I love Pokemon. I love reading and I love wrestling. I'm also awkward as fuck. If you're not new here, welcome back. Please give me a like before you leave. So I'm just going to show you the two things I bought very recently got in the mail. Okay? Okay. Yes. So the first thing is, this is from Perfusion, and I have wanted to do a new makeup releases video, and I haven't done that yet. I will eventually, and I'll probably have some older things in it now, but whatever. This stuff's been out for a while, and when I realized it's not in my area, none of the Walmarts in my area were carrying this stuff. Uh, so I went on Profusion's website and I logged in and I saw I had some $10 off certificates, so that was cool. Um, so I got some of the Jurassic Park stuff. So this is really fun. Uh, I will show you what I got here. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this face mist. This is a Mosasaurus Mist <laughs> Hyaluronic Setting Spray. This is a Profusion High Voltage Duochrome Eyeshadow. They were sold out of a few of these, unfortunately. I, there was a few other colors I did want to get, but that's okay. All right, the next thing I shall show you here. So Jurassic World Profusion, <laughs> what is this called? Uh, Land, Sea, and Air Water Activated uh, Eyeliner Palette, whatever liner, graphic liner. So kind of, kind of rainbowy uh, right here. I think the other one that they had was like purples and pinks and whites. Um, I would have rather had that, but that is okay. The next thing we have here, this is a Profusion. Uh, this is the Paddock Playground. Blah, blah, I can't speak. The Paddock Playground. Here we go. This so is a uh, contour bronzer highlighter type situation right there. I have loved Jurassic Park. This is a cute story here. Um, so I read the book, right? I read the first book by Michael Crichton. This is the book I tell everyone how, how much I love reading. Um, I read the book in an hour and I was like 11 years old. That's how much the book, what it was so awesome. Anyways, also though, my very first date with uh, this little boy named Christopher Zhang <laughs> when I lived in Connecticut, we went and saw the Jurassic Park movie. <laughs> And we were the only people in the theater. I lived in a little town in Old Saybrook, Connecticut. Yes, we were the only people in the theater and it was like, oh my god, it was pretty, pretty hilarious. Uh, so anyway, so next we got the mirror. How could I resist the mirror? And it's got, it's got the iconic little uh, raptor um, claw on the bottom. But yeah, very cute. And it says clever girl right there. I don't know if you can see it. Clever girl. Yeah, very cute. You can see all my books. Well, <laughs> some of my books. Anyways. Iconic. Yes. Okay, and then the last thing in here is the palette, of course. I will say Profusion packaged this stuff beautifully. Lots of uh, wrapping in it, which I will recycle and use when I ship stuff up to other people. But okay, so this is the palette. It's gorgeous. At first I was trying to figure out how do you open it because it's got this thing right here. But ooh, the side opens and we have a mirror, which I think should not have been included because you're not going to this is so heavy. I, I should weigh it, but you're not going to like really use this mirror. You know what I mean? But you open it. So it's a trifold situation. The other way we have the glitters, which I'm not mad at actually. They're very nice glitters. I have used them a little bit. I should, I should take the green and put it on my eyes here. I did not use this palette yet. Well, I did for a look, but I didn't like record it. I was just kind of testing it out. The one thing I don't like is I wish the names were on the palette. The names are not. They're on this plastic and they're not on the back of it either. So you, if you really want to keep the names, you have to keep this plastic on it. But we're basically working with, you know, a rainbow palette. Uh, you know, the middle thing, they call it a bronzer. But it's like, in my opinion, that is way too sparkly <laughs> to be a bronzer. But um, it's just, it's fun. It's weighty. This doesn't look like a profusion product to be honest like profusion is upping its game let's put it that way profusion is upping its game this looks more professional than what profusion has come out with i don't know how to i, I feel bad like i'm not trying to be negative i like their products it's just that this this stuff is more professional looking I don't know. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. Like, that's my profusion stuff. So, um, I'm really excited to play with that stuff. So exciting. And then the next thing I got, I waited on this. Okay. I got this free from Melt. Yes, for ordering. This is the color, like, 
like super bubblegum pink right there. I don't know if it's coming off on the camera. Excited to try that. I already dipped my finger in it. It is like Barbie pink, okay? I waited on this. I waited on this and I waited on this. I don't even know why when I'm Melt's website. Maybe I saw someone with the palette and I'm like, I don't want the palette. I saw the collection was on sale. The PR collection was on sale. I'm like, I've been saving money from my beauty budget. I'm gonna buy it. So <laughs> the Melt Cosmetics, oh my god. This is the Amor y Mariposa. Did I say that right? Please tell me I said it. Amor y Mariposas. This is the Amor y Mariposas. Did I say it right? I'm, I'm super white, I'm so sorry. Beautiful packaging, beautiful packaging. This reminds me of Thunder Rosa. <laughs> so, here we have the top part of the collection. So. It's got these little butterflies, 3D butterflies. It came with this to protect said butterflies. So mirror, we have the eyeliners. And I think it's a little interesting that these ones aren't in boxes, just like these two lipsticks are not in boxes where these other three are. These are lip liners right here. And we're gonna pull this up. So look at that, how beautiful that is. This is art on the inside. You could actually take this whole thing out. It's just like a, kind of like a poster. We have another thing protecting the insides. And so in here, we have the palette, we have the, I think it's a blush palette, and the brushes. Now, Melt did not package this very well, um, in a sense that this box, ooh, this box was in another box, and uh, the other box, there was about this much space uh, in between the top uh, and this box, and they didn't really put anything in between. So when I got this, everything was jumbled around on the inside of this box, um, like this just fell out. One of the butterflies was was knocked over. Mm. But uh, the mirror was out. It's not broken, thankfully. Uh, basically, all the all the lipsticks were out uh, on this side, and then on the other side, woohoo! All the brushes were out of here somehow, and it's like really hard to get these out. So I don't know what the fuck happened. The brushes are fine. I think this is the only one that's a little. Eh, it's a little iffy on the end, so you know I'm not gonna like say anything to anyone or anything. It's just like mm, they should probably package it a little better. Like Profusion put a bunch of those little air bubble mailers in the box to protect the stuff, and you know that. So let's take a look at some of the stuff. Um, I love these. Here we go. I love these brushes. We got this little stuff. It's very sturdy feeling. It's not heavy, but it's sturdy. <laughs> burp. Burp, burp, burp. The burper. So this is the blush palette. Okay, this uh, this has powder on it. Weird. Well, it's not from the inside. Thankfully, nothing's broken. Okay, so this is what the blush palette looks like. We do have a thingy on the inside protecting it. And just look at the butterflies. Super cute. And this is the blush right here. Again, love the packaging. Beautiful. Cannot wait to try all this. I was originally just going to get the palette. All right, one more thing. Look at the actual palette. I thought this was going to be bigger. Why did I think this was going to be bigger? I don't know. Again, we have a beautiful mirror with the butterflies. And here we go. I mean, even looking at it on my screen, it looks like this should be bigger. But these look tiny. They're so cute. Um, for reference, because I was saying to, I think, my friend Ash, that they looked like the size of the small ColourPop. Uh, shadows and this is that nightmare palette that I just love to use and actually they either look like they're the same size or they're bigger oh my god they're bigger <gasps> oh my god they're bigger oh okay that's actually a little creepy like I was thinking that these were still bigger than the, the color pop wow but it is what it is and I got a really good deal on the whole thing so whatever this is the mirror there we go very cute very, this is the same style. There's some, oh, there's some gunk on it. Oh, and whatever this red powder is. It could be from the velvet, I guess, which is really weird. But uh, anyways, so same style as the Beetlejuice uh, palette. I mean, the Beetlejuice mirror. So this is a metal bond gel liner. So it's a tealy color. And the other one, oh, that's a gold color. That would be very nice for playing Columbia. That's Estrella. And this is Colibri. All right, and then we have two lipsticks. I'll just open these since they're not in boxes. I don't know why they did that. It's very strange. Ooh, I could have worn this. I could have worn this with my look because I was looking for like an orange. I don't really have an orange, but it's uh, very sparkly. And I don't know if you could see the, 
the imprints on there, but it has like that logo or whatever. The, uh, the heart butterfly uh, logo. La, 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 la. Real quick, I'm gonna go see if I can find the other stuff I got from TJ Maxx. Fuck, I'm so weird. A few small things from a few different places. Um, this is from Dollar Tree, and these are already gone, unfortunately, from my Dollar Tree. But we have these Tony eyelashes, right? And they're Zodiac. Uh, I've already used, I think I used a pair that was for Aquarius, but uh, so this is the Sagittarius set. This is the Aries set. I bought these a while ago, so I apologize. I don't think you'll be able to get them anymore. And this just says air, and that's a little strange, but uh, okay. So we have that, and let's see. Next, um, I will show this. I don't believe that I purchased anything else from this set, but uh, this I found at the CVS in Boston at the Amtrak station. So look at this cute little Minnie Mouse fucking palette. Oh my God. And I think it was on sale, and that's why I bought it. But this is from the Cream Shop, so I do have a few pellets from them, which I have gotten, I believe, from... Oop, there goes the protector. Uh, from TJ Maxx. Now, this is a neutral palette for the most part. Little pops of pink, so it's kind of like, like neutrally rose. But that's cute. Okay, that's mine. No. So at Walgreens, when the uh, Lilo and Stitch and Wet n' Wild thing came out... Um, more protectors. I don't even know where that one came from. Uh, I had to buy some of this stuff. So we have a sponge and scrub set. So I don't know if the scrub set is for your brushes, but that is super cute. I love that so much. Again, this is stuff that I've purchased over the last while. Like I haven't done a haul video or anything in forever. So this is in the same packaging as the Saved by the Bell. <laughs> so Saved by the Bell this is the same uh, component. They just, you know, did differently, but there's Lilo and Stitch there. Very cute. We have slightly neutral, slightly not uh, kind of rainbowy type of uh, situation here for the palette. Have not used it yet. I will definitely use it. Let me know if you want me to use it down below. Um, <laughs> let me move some of this stuff her. Uh, and then the Hula Honey Stitch palette. So this is what do they call this? Glow palette. Whatever. It just looks like it's maybe bronzer and or what they consider highlight. Uh, there we go. Super cute. I love the little indents and everything on them. Love it, love it. Okay, and next. Okay, we're gonna do TJ Maxx stuff. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna keep some of this stuff or if uh, some of this is gonna go into giveaways. Um, oh, what did I just drop? TJ Maxx stuff. Uh, I just bought this little compact mirror. Most of the stuff was even on clearance, so love. We got the rainbow, love it. So we got the January palette from BH Cosmetics. Kinda like it, kinda reminds me of the Beetlejuice, the one Beetlejuice collection palette from Melt though, which is kinda funny, color story-wise. All right, and this was fun. So this will definitely go on a, a giveaway because I already have this. This is the Blueberry Muffin uh, palette, the Weekend of Vibes from BH Cosmetics. Uh, if you have been following me for quite a while from my original channel, you know that I won this palette along with mm, numerous others from BH Cosmetics uh, in a giveaway that they did on Instagram. I had won uh, both this and like a bra and panty set from... Um, I forget the name of it, but um, I'll find the video and I'll put it up here uh, if you want to go check it out. But yeah, that was really cool. I've never won, you know, something like that before from a big company, uh, let alone, you know what I mean? And the, the underwear and the, uh, the bra set came in a really nice box. Um, okay, and then also, again, this is all TJ Maxx stuff, uh, BH Weekend Vibes, the Peach Bellini palette. This um, I might keep. I do have a lot of blushes though, but this is what it looks like. Uh, same, same style as the cute little highlighter set that I got. The um, Aspen or, or the Alps or whatever it was. Um, so undecided on that, if I'm keeping it. <sighs> and then we got the Mickey Lime, I was saying Lime Crime. No, the Mickey Morphe palette, uh, the small one. I just saw it and I'm like, I kind of was interested in it just because it's... I keep losing all the fucking protectors. Anyways, uh, Ash from Makeup and Chaos told me that it, the, the big one, 
maybe they got the big one. I don't know. They said it was just so-so. But anyway, so I got that. Cute. Now we got Lime Prime. Um, Venus Lime Prime. Here we go. This is the Venus 2. I do have a small one uh, from the Venus collection that I got from one of my subscription boxes. But uh, I like the color store here. Kind of grungy. I like that. So that is mine. And then we have this Totally Snatched from BH Cosmetics and Iggy. There we go. Palette. And this is a face palette. Oh, and I did. I broke it. This is the one thing that fell. Oh, <laughs> it broke. Oh, that sucks, dude. Actually, the you know what? The the thingies are still there. I can glue it. I will glue this back together. But anyways, we have a face palette. Oh, that's sad because I was going to do that as a giveaway. Never mind. It, it broke off. It's definitely not a giveaway now. <laughs> that's okay. I'll keep it or maybe my, my sister needs some face stuff. Um, okay, last thing. Uh, I went to Ulta one day and I saw... I wanted to go look at the Stranger Things stuff, right? And I was like, mm, I love Stranger Things, but I can't. And the one thing I did buy was one of those lip glosses. Bought the yellow one. <laughs> I bought the yellow one. Why did I do this to myself? Like... Uh, Stranger Things and Mac Cosmetics. Yeah, no, but I like the I didn't like the pa the palette. I like the outsides of the palettes. The outsides of the palettes were adorable. But I found some other things. Thor: Love and Thunder. Oh my God. Um. So this this is a eyeshadow stick, a, a gel eyeliner, and a face stamp with a lightning bolt. Excited for that. I actually forgot I had that. So this is the Thor Love and Thunder. This is the King Valkyrie eyeshadow palette. And I actually really like this color story. I have already used this. I believe I used it at work. Did I need these colors? No. Did I want it for Thor? Absolutely. Especially since it's King Valkyrie. Um, and then we have this weird ass eyeshadow palette, right? And I don't know if you've seen this collection. This is with Ulta and Thor. It breaks apart. <laughs> How hilarious is that? Um, the magnets are so-so. Let's put it that way. Like, can I hold it like this? Absolutely. But I bet if I went hard enough, it would break. But, um, yeah, so kind of cute. Kind of gimmicky. Color story's not bad. When you have it all together, it's kind of like a rainbow palette. When you have this right here, this is definitely the more neutral side. When you have this right here, it's just more like the reddish orangey side there we go but uh, i like that we have both the weapons on the front and i did see this movie now me and my husband went to go see thor love and thunder and man taika waitiki is his name i believe the director he's very good it was both a serious movie as well as a comedic movie like that man is just a genius and i love chris hemsworth and everyone else that was in that movie it was fantastic so highly highly recommend well, thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and like this video before you leave again it really helps me out you already know this but i want to say it too i feel like i'm not personalizing my videos well enough you know, you, know, you, you want to be a real person. You know what I mean? I am a real person. The f also, I do have a Discord server. If you would like to chat with moi or anyone else that's also a content creator, uh, what is a subscriber, like whatever, uh, I'm going to link it down below because I cannot put it up here, but I will link it down below. I would love to have you there. You could just chat anytime, post whatever you want. I got a beauty channel. I got a wrestling channel. I got a content creator channel, D&D channel. I like Dungeons and Dragons now too. That's amazing. Um, if you want to collab, uh, feel free to post uh, in there what you would like to do uh, in terms of videos. Also, this is my makeup only channel. I do have my original channel. I will link it up here here in the description box below. My original channel was I did makeup and I posted up wrestling content because I love wrestling like I said yes. However YouTube was not promoting my makeup videos like literally nothing and I had I have almost 1700 subscribers over there so if you want to check it out feel free. I'm going to post uh, makeup, wrestling, vlogs, Pokemon stuff. I, you know, Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Whatever suits my fancy now. This one, completely just makeup. Capiche? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my silly ass. Awkward AF. I will see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.